Marine One Helicopter, How Presidents Fly, and What It Looks Like Inside. Hello there, and welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be the President of the United States? While it is a role with much responsibility, it certainly has its props. If you've ever traveled by air, you would know there are different available classes to fly. It is everyone's dream to fly first class or, at best, to own their own private plane, but it appears that the President soars in a class all of their own. This video will be giving you a dreamy peek into how Presidents fly and what it's like to fly on the presidential aircraft called Marine One. Marine One is the name used for the U.S. Marine Corps aircraft transporting a reserve for the President of the United States. These aircraft usually consist of the large Sikorsky VH-3D Sea King or the newer, smaller VH-60N Whitehawk, and both are called White Tops because of their livery. These helicopters are typically operated by Marine Helicopter Squadron 1 HMX-1 Nighthawks. As you might expect, these aircraft are exquisitely designed to ensure the best standard of safety and comfort and to attend to all the needs the President might have while flying aboard. Before we get further into this video, please make sure to click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you are always updated and notified when we post entertaining content like this. Make sure to also like this video and leave a comment below. And watch the full video to enjoy all the information we've gathered for you on what exactly a day aboard an aircraft as a president might be like. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. History Marine One, in a stricter sense, is a call sign adopted by a Marine aircraft while the President is aboard. When the Marine Corps aircraft is carrying only the Vice President, it has the call sign Marine Two. Marine One is the preferred alternative to motorcades, which can be expensive and logistically difficult. The controlled environment of a helicopter is also felt to add a safety factor. Presidents are obviously highly important and influential individuals whose safety needs are top priorities. This is why they were initially prohibited by the Secret Service from flying helicopters in the 1940s, though the U.S. military had adopted their use since. During the Cold War the following decade, however, concern about the risk of nuclear attacks seemed to supersede the concerns about the risk of helicopter crashes, and this led to a change in policy. In order to facilitate an emergency evacuation in the event of a nuclear attack, the first Marine One helicopter, a Bell H-13J, was designated to do just that. The Bell H-13J was chosen not for its convenient space or speed, as it is relatively slow and small, but because it had a notable safety record. On July 12, 1957, Dwight D. Eisenhower made history as the first president to fly in a helicopter. In a test run known as Operation Alert, he was transported from the White House to Camp David. The president is said to have wanted a quick way to reach his summer home in Pennsylvania, which could not have been provided by using the modes of transport available to the president at the time. The slow and small Bell helicopter didn't last for long, as it soon was replaced by larger models that were faster, more sophisticated, and more comfortable. These helicopters were operated by the U.S. Army and Marine Corps and were identified as Army One or Marine One, depending on who the helicopter was being flown by, until the Marines were given sole responsibility in 1976. Pilots are selected for Marine Helicopter Squadron 1 HMX-1 Nighthawks. Different helicopter models have been used over the years, but presently the models in use can fly more than 150 miles (241 kilometers per hour) and feature ballistic armor and anti-missile countermeasures. The green and white helicopters have electromagnetic pulse protection in the event of a nuclear explosion. These newer models have relatively spacious interiors, which can accommodate at least 14 passengers and include amenities such as air conditioning and a bathroom. The new Marine One VH-92A Helicopter The next generation presidential transport helicopter being developed by Sikorsky Aircraft for the United States Marine Corps is referred to as VH-92A, or the new Marine One. Currently in use is the aging VH-3D presidential helicopter in service with the USMC. In May 2014, a $1.24 billion engineering and manufacturing development contract was placed with Sikorsky Aircraft, a Lockheed Martin company, 
for the production of a safe and reliable VH-92A helicopter for the transportation for the U.S. President and Vice President. After the approval of the VH-92A designation by the U.S. Air Force in October 2014, the preliminary design review was completed in August 2015, while the critical design review was concluded in July 2016. Under the first low-rate initial production contract, the helicopters are scheduled to be delivered and enter service in 2021, while the sixth production VH-92A helicopters under the second LRIP contract are scheduled to be delivered in 2022. Design and Features the new Marine One is being designed under the H-92A Presidential Helicopter Replacement Program to ensure the best quality and performance one might expect from an aircraft designated for presidential use. Its design is in reference to the FAA-certified S-92 helicopter integrated with an advanced mission communication system and executive interior. In regards to some of its noteworthy features, this helicopter has a crash-worthy fuselage, integrating twin turboshaft power plant and a fully articulated composite main rotor. Included in the retractable tricycle landing gear are three twin-wheel units. Concerns about the safety of the President against the risk of a helicopter crash is still a priority to this day, and this is why the Marine One helicopters are designed with self-contained fuel systems that satisfy the highest crashworthiness standards. So even in the undesirable event of a crash, the chance of a post-crash fire is greatly reduced. To further facilitate the well-being and comfort of the president or vice president and cushion the unpleasant effects in the case of a crash or hard landing, the helicopter is furnished with energy-absorbing seats and landing gear. The VH-92A helicopter comes with a range of safety features, such as flaw tolerance, de-icing system, lightning protection, protection against electromagnetic interference, and bird strike protection. The new Marine One helicopter is also equipped with defensive aids, such as laser-based directional infrared countermeasures and decoy launchers. Cockpit and Cabin Layout The cockpit is manned by two crew members, a pilot and a co-pilot. To facilitate easier and safer operations, it has a unique layout that allows for a superior field of view and fully redundant flight-critical systems to avoid single-point failures. Collins Aerospace Pro-Line communication and navigation radios, four multifunction display units, and two display control panels are some of the features included in the base avionics package. It also integrates an enhanced ground proximity warning system, traffic collision avoidance systems, weather radar, and health and usage monitoring system. The helicopter is equipped with the ARC 244A digital FM radio controlled by a remote terminal on a MIL standard 1553 avionics data bus. The VH-92A also integrates a full duplex satellite communications capability with two Collins Aerospace ARC-210 radios. The integrated Wi-Fi system on board the rotorcraft uses a Wi-Fi router and a server with Ethernet capability. The helicopter isn't only designed to offer comfort to the dignitaries aboard, but also to all the crew members and passengers. Designed to accommodate 19 passengers, the 1.83-meter-high cabin offers true stand-up headroom. The 1.2-meter wide cabin also offers more comfort when seated. The lower acoustic levels in the cabin allow the occupants to speak in a normal tone of voice. Marine One Engine and Performance Two General Electric CT-78A turboshaft engines power the VH-92A helicopter. The power plant is equipped with an integral particle separator and a pneumatic starting system. The Honeywell 36150 auxiliary power unit on the helicopter supplies emergency power to the onboard systems. Marine One is primarily transported by C-17 Globemaster or C-5 Galaxy military transport aircraft. Current Operations The Marine One fleet, which is based in MCAF Quantico, Virginia, with an additional operating location at Naval Support Facility Anacostia in the District of Columbia, is more often seen in action on the South Lawn of the White House or at Joint Base Andrews Naval Air Facility in Maryland. Regardless of the location, Marine One is met on the ground by at least one Marine in full dress uniform, most often two, with one acting as an armed guard, waiting to greet the President. Several security measures are carefully put in place to ensure the security of the President. One such is called the Presidential Shell Game, which involves Marine One flying in a group of as many as five identical helicopters to serve as decoys. 
These decoys continuously shift in formation in order to keep the actual location of the President unknown to potential attackers. Marine One is also equipped with standard military anti-missile countermeasures such as flares to counter heat-seeking missiles and chaff to counter radar-guided missiles, as well as AN-ALQ-144A infrared countermeasures. To add to the security of Marine One, every member of HMX-1 is required to pass a background check before touching any of the helicopters used for presidential travel. We've given you juicy details on Marine One helicopters, the history behind them, advancements and upgrades being made for their development of the new Marine One, their designs, features, performance, and operations. If you've enjoyed this quality video we've put together for you, please like the video and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we upload more videos like this one you just enjoyed. We also have several other videos we're sure you'd love on our channel, so be sure to check those out too. Thank you for watching.